welcome back to Amanda is the name and today I got another video for you guys so this video is kind of gonna be a little short but I got a big announcement to make at the end of this video so for the main topic we are talking about today is going back to school advice um I'm mainly talking to the people who just started high school and you know maybe people that still needs more guidance and all that stuff. sorry if y'all see me looking like messy all that type of stuff um, it's 90 it's 90 oh actually it's 95 today so it's hot as hell um i usually record in my room but i am doing a different perspective today um in my car so and i brought my my drink i'm doing this for the sake of this video so please like comment and subscribe i'm doing this out here it's 95 degrees out here now i am recording this from this front vision like the front camera and usually my audio is kind of messed up from this front camera so i try my best to work with that but you know it is what it is and if y'all see me like turn on my air in my car because it's hot i, I i'm going to put on the lowest thing because i don't want it to overflow me talking and me trying to give the information i want to give to you guys so second thought let's actually hop into the video now like i said i know a lot of people is advice and all that type of stuff so that's what I'm here for, and it's back to school. Literally, some now some of y'all already started school. Um, for us, you know, some of us go back to school on the 16th, and some of us go back to school maybe later on than that. But I mean, school school's been crazy this year. Um, it's been really rough on everybody, parents, everybody this year. So I'm here to give you some guidance. So, yeah. So my thing is, if you're if you're a freshman in high school I would recommend you I would recommend you kind of figure out what you want to do in life and here's the reason why um you don't want to put work yourself to let's say I want to be a nurse and I've been working myself to be a nurse in mid like maybe like junior year yeah maybe by junior year I changed my mind I want to do something else but you already put in the work that you you already put in the work to be a nurse you see what i'm trying to say and you could have did that later on like before it even got to that point so i definitely want to say when you get out of high school i mean you still have time to change your mind but you need to figure out what you want to do and what are the requirements for you to actually do this once you get into college all that type of stuff and I would say, you know, you can hang out with your friends and all that type of stuff. But eventually, you and your friends will have to part ways. Um, it could be multiple reasons. It could be they want to do something else. You want to be something else. And their path might lead them in another direction. And don't take it as a defense, defensive thing. Like, oh, this girl don't want to be my friend. Don't take it like that. Just, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe later on in life, after y'all finish high school or whatever the case may be, you can actually, you know, be how y'all was when y'all first finished. If that makes sense. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? And be in your studies, especially if you want to be anything that's in nursing school, anything big in life. I definitely recommend you staying focused on what you need to do and don't get distracted. And absences, it may not, you may not think absences can affect what you do in the future, but it most definitely can. College people see how many absences you have. I have, you know, I had experience. Um, I really, when I was in high school, maybe my senior year, I really did stop, stop going to school. Like, I genuinely stopped going to school. I'm like, well, this is my last year. I don't have to take this seriously. No, you, you need to take all your years of high school very seriously. Okay, if you don't, it will bite you back in the butt what you want to be in life. And it can affect your future. Yeah, it surely can. So please take that not with a grain of salt and actually stay focused on tasks. And for me, personally, I feel like if you want to be, um, definitely recommend you taking high school not high school, college classes while you're in high school. Now, you taking college classes in high schools and stuff doesn't mean that you can go to the college. You can take college classes at your regular school. But, it okay, y'all, so apparently my phone just literally stopped recording because how hot it is, so I had to wait for it to cool down. I had to get a popsicle and put the popsicle behind my, um, 
my camera, phone camera, whatever you want to call it. So I'm, I forgot where I left off at, but I know I was talking to you guys about college and all that type of stuff. So I would, okay, so I would recommend you taking college classes while you're in school and high school and stuff. I feel like that would be a better advantage. So when you graduate, you will have your associate's degree. I'm pretty, yeah, your associate's degree. And yeah, like you can be one step ahead to do what you need to do because once you once you finish graduating i'm not gonna say once you finish high school i'm not gonna say like it's not gonna be peaches and cream but it would be harder to reach your, for your goal and you sh and you could have reached one of your goals in high school if that makes sense so yeah um just advice don't don't even pay attention to the boys or the girls it's it's not worth it right now you have plenty of stuff that's on your hands and honestly when it comes down to it they're just not gonna be there when you when you're there with them so i would recommend just focus on yourself do what you need to do in order to win later do what you need to do now in order to win later because you don't want to be 25 25 or 26 trying to reach your goal i feel like i mean you do what you need to do hey that's you but i i want to reach my goal before i get 25 or 23 you know what i mean stuff like that stuff to be ahead before anybody so i'm trying to speed up because i don't want my shit to stop working and yeah so that's what i was recommending please 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 no god please no focus on your schooling don't be playing around here don't be playing no games focus on your school and that's what's going to get you ahead and some of y'all kids nowadays y'all posting on tiktok y'all disrespecting y'all teachers and stuff sounds crazy but you gonna need them teaching when you need a um what's it called when you apply for when you apply for a college and you can put your teacher name down so they can give you a voucher like hey this she's a very good student you're going to need them same teacher that y'all are disrespecting so please 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 don't don't do that y'all do not do not fuck up your future because y'all want to sit around and play don't do that you need to do what you need to do to get out of high school do what you need to do and for the people that's thinking of dropping out i you do what you want to do but i'm in the race to win i'm not going to sit there and drop out i mean don't get me wrong people do drop out and become millionaires making great money great money but it's just like if you're not a hundred percent down on that i wouldn't recommend eventually you're gonna have to get off the work if that's not working it sucks because like you have to try back in school <laughs> no i stay in school y'all no matter how tough it's things going don't bully nobody like that's weird don't bully nobody that's de that's definitely back in the day type shit no bullying no online bullying because you online bully somebody later on in the future they people can really see that and you can lose your job you can lose your future you can lose everything because what you did 10 years ago seriously no joke um you know i would say like do volunteer to do stuff to be seen in a way like go to clubs activities after school do everything that you can to you know put key you can put on your resume you can hey i did this for the chess club when i was in eighth grade whatever the case may be actually do something while you're in high school i mean yeah you can learn too if you're focused on your studies that's what you need to do but actually like volunteer for stuff like that yeah i wish i could have did that when i was in high school actually volunteer for stuff okay so this is kind of all for a little quick video um i am i am going to tell you like what's the news that are coming out later on in this in 2023 and in 2024 um um, okay, so I, I made my boutique business in January and I stopped doing it because I had a big purchase to make, which is this bad boy right here. And I finally, as you see, I can got it. So my business is going to be back up pretty soon. What I sell is um, body butters, body scrub, lip glosses, and I'm trying to work on my hair growth oils. So that that's what I'm working with right now. And it will be coming up sometime in November or December. November or December is when my business is going to be back up. I'm now actually trying to start a website. So 
please look out for that if you follow me on if you don't follow me on instagram my instagram will be down in the description so y'all can follow me and you know hop on the bandwagon and we'll just take it off from there and sooner or later i will be doing a giveaway i will be doing a giveaway in december i'm pretty sure in december too which is probably like my body butter body scrubs or whatever and um i will tell you the rules and stuff how to go in with that later on in the future and yeah now in 2024 um if you're in my area i am going to school to be a vet tech and a lash tech so i will be doing lashes as well i will make my video i, I will be making not my video i will be making my website in 2024 so you can book with me and i'll do your lashes i can see i do my lashes very well don't play with me um I do lashes and I will actually have my own little spot and you know I will be making an online website so it will be down in the description as well so if you live in my local area um I can do your lashes like hit me up sis and later on and that's that's in 2024 and later on in July in 2024 I will be going to Austin Texas um I know some of y'all heard of it, some of y'all probably don't, but it's this place called DreamCon, and it's where black creators, actually black creators make this, and um, they all get together. You can crossplay if you want to. I, I'm not really into a fan of that. I might might do it. It's my tw it literally be my 21st birthday in January, so I don't know. I mean, this is July, there's two different things. But yeah, so I will recommend, you know, I, comment down below if y'all want me to record DreamCon. I think I am doing it anyway. I think it would be a very good experience. Go to Austin, Texas. Um, never went there. And I think it would be a, a nice experience to go to DreamCon. are awesome people. They are very inspiring. They are, well, I'm not going to say they're the reason why I made this video today. But they, they are the reason why I pushed this video out today. So, yeah, y'all. So, that's what's going on little pieces and stuff I, if i have any updates and stuff i will put it in here but like i said i'm gonna go because number one it's hot as hell out here it is 95 degrees outside and you know yeah i'll tell you guys later please like comment and subscribe and my business email is down below as well and i'll talk to you guys later <laughs>